Now the original C10 badge on that fender was the bow tie with a 10 because it is a C10. I went ahead and filled the holes on the fenders, painted the truck, and now using the tail panel of a 69Z28 Camaro, this gives me the slash in the 28. And with the 72 hood emblems from a GMC pickup, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the stands on the back of the emblem, cut those, grind them flat, then I'm gonna put this on the bandsaw and I'll cut this a little larger than what I need it. And then when I fit the C into there, I'll just do that with a little file and by hand fit the two pieces together. So let's go cut this. Here's a little trick when you're gonna cut a post off the back of an emblem or something else that's not flush or flat against the table on the bandsaw. I don't wanna cut that because the blade can actually wanna force it in. So I'm gonna use this piece of tubing, set that right there, run it across the blade, get rid of the post. Turn that on. Real simple. Do the same thing with this one. I've got the post cut off, but what I want to do now is I'm going to go and sand those so they're flush, so it's not tipping on the table like this. Another thing I like to do is I'll take another piece of sheet metal that's flat. I'm going to run it into the blade and get rid of this large gap there. So when I'm cutting this, it doesn't want to flip it down into that gap. Now when it's all said and done, that C is going to come out right flush to where that chrome is on that straight square edge. What I want to do now is I'm going to cut it so it's a little bit long and then I'll hand file to that point. So in the bandsaw, I'll line it up inside that and cut it. There we are. No more Z. Time for a C. Sometimes when you're putting reproduction parts on your vehicle, as you can see, the original door handle had studs that were parallel to the same angle of the door handle itself. The reproduction door handles, that hole has been drilled on an angle parallel to the surface on the back side of the handle. Now that becomes an issue when you try to put it on the car because inside the door is a hole that is parallel and that stud wants to lay straight. Well, when you put this on the vehicle itself, the door handle wants to lay down where the original was straight. So what I need to do is actually, rather than running bolts into the door handle, I'm gonna use a stud, but I need to bend that stud on the angle that I need. So with a simple welding rod, I'll put that in the door handle, take a pair of pliers, bend that angle that I need, and check it. That looks pretty good, maybe, yeah, that's not bad. Maybe just a touch more. That looks good there. Now I'll take the stud over, I'm gonna put a little bit of heat and then bend that so I have that same angle. So I know that I want about a half an inch of this stud to go into the back of the door handle, so I'm going to create the bend after that half inch. The reason I'm using the heat is this is actually a hardened bolt, and if I tried to bend it, it would just snap. a little bit of heat, get it red hot.
Check that angle. So I could go just a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Let's go try it out. Now the kit came with bolts to put in there. Rather than using the bolt, I've used the stud. Now what I used was an Allen stud so I can easily install it into the door handle with an Allen wrench. Go ahead and crank it down to where it's tight or where it's actually parallel. And There we go. Now, as you can see, the two studs are going the same direction. Now I can slide that into the door real easily and put a nut on the back, tighten it up, which is exactly how I put the door handles on the C28. But that's a simple fix for a simple problem. What I just enlisted the help of Josh with was to hold the fenders out while I used the 3M Cavity Wax Plus. Now what this does is there was already a hole in the front of the rocker. We went ahead and put the straw all the way to the back of it, sprayed the wax in there, pulled it all the way out, put the cap on, put the fender back on. Now all of that is sealed so that it won't rust. 